Bienvenidos! So welcome to Mexican Feast. I think Mexican food is one of my favorite types of food. Today we're gonna to make three simple dishes and these are ideal for anyone who wants to lose weight. First step for breakfast, we're gonna make molletes, which are beautiful, fabulous, simple breakfast. We're gonna do empanadas, uh, which I think these were possibly my favorite. And then we're gonna pay tribute to the Mexican incredible sauce dish, the mole. We're gonna do a simple three bean mole dish. Big shout out to my friend Sandra who gave me suggestions for all this. She's from uh, Mexico City. Uh, and if anyone does wanna learn more about weight management or weight loss, check out our Happy Shape course. We partner with a bariatric GP, Dr. Sue Keneally, and a dietitian to come up with a course to really help you lose weight while eating a, a plant-based diet and not having to calorie count. Okay, first up, we're gonna cook some breakfast and we're gonna do Mexican style with some mojitos. Finally, dice one red onion and pop it onto our dry pan on high heat. Next step, we're gonna take two cloves of garlic, peel and dice them finely and add them into the onion. They cook slightly slower or slightly quicker, so we're gonna add them in a little bit later. Cook these until they start to brown. Once they start to brown, let's add in our spices. So we have two teaspoons of ground cumin, one tablespoon of ground coriander, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of ground black, black pepper, and three quarter teaspoon of salt. So it does look quite dry now, but we're gonna add in two tins of drained black beans. So that's approximately 500 grams of cooked black beans. Pop them into the pan. And I've got one lime, just give it a nice rub, chop it in half, and we're gonna squeeze it in there and just allow that zesty, limey beautifulness just to spread through and break down the beans. Use the back of the spoon or else a potato masher just to mash the beans. Final step, we're gonna taste and season to our liking. Mm. Okay, that tastes great. Now we're gonna to start to bring together our mojitos and we're gonna start by making a salsa. So I've taken three medium-sized tomatoes, make sure they're ripe and nice and red. I actually went with two nice big juicy tomatoes and a good handful of cherry tomatoes just to bring more color. Use a serrated knife and chop these nice and finely. I've taken one medium to small size red onion. Again, peel it and finely dice it. Similarly again, one clove of garlic, just peel and finely dice it. Add them all into the bowl. I've taken one green chili. Uh, I decided to take the seeds out. Uh, just, I wanted to make this a little bit, not too spicy. Uh, so again, chop it, finely dice it. Try to get it really, really finely diced. Add this in and finally, I've taken a good bunch of fresh coriander or cilantro. If you don't like it, many people are almost allergic to it. Just use flat parsley or mint in that case. Uh, chop it nice and finely, add it in uh, into our salsa, mix it all through, and we're gonna take a nice generous pinch of salt and put it in. Taste it, and again, lastly, just taste it just to seasoning, just to your liking. Okay, time to bring our molletes together. So I'm gonna take, I've got wholemeal sourdough bread from our own bakery, beautiful. I'm gonna slice that finely, pop it into the toaster and toast two slices. It's important with the molletes just to make them fresh each time. So take our two slices out. I'm gonna put a generous serving of refried beans. Traditionally, there'd be some cheese put on top. We wanna to make these lower in fat and kind of better for weight loss. So we're gonna leave the cheese out. Uh, then we're gonna just garnish with a generous serving that salsa and that's gonna give it a nice ping pop of flavor and really cut through just the starchiness of those beans. Okay, now we're gonna make some empanadas. Empanadas are one of my favorite dishes. They're incredible and so delicious. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sweet potato. This is about a 350 gram sweet potato. We're gonna chop it into bite-sized pieces. Make sure to keep the skin on because this is where most of the nutrition is. Pop it into the pot, cover with boiling water from the kettle. Just put in a nice bit, pinch of salt and bring that to the boil. Once it's boiling, reduce to a simmer and leave it boil for 10 to 15 minutes until the sweet potato is soft and ready to go. So while the sweet potatoes are boiling, I'm gonna make my pastry for my empanadas. So I'm kind of making a lower in fat short crust pastry. So what I've got is simply 200 grams of plain flour. Just pop it into the bowl like that. I have 50 grams of coconut oil. And as I mentioned, this is slightly higher in fat than the rest of the dish, but don't worry, these are delicious and just make the rest of the food nicer. So pop in our solid coconut oil and we're gonna use body heat and mix and massage the coconut oil and just gently break it down and distribute it evenly throughout the flour. Add in a nice pinch of salt in there and slowly we're gonna add in water. We're gonna go with 10 tablespoons of water, bring it all in, mix it together and give it just a gentle knead. So only tiny little knead <clears throat> until it comes together. Then use the dough just to clean around the bowl until you have one solid, nice, cohesive dough. We're gonna pop that, we're gonna cover with cling film or with a plate on top or towel and we're just gonna pop it in the fridge just to go solid while we make the rest of our ingredients. Sweet potato is done, we're gonna just drain and rinse it. Okay, time to make our filling. 
So this is really flavor and delicious and we're cooking without oil because oil is just so high in energy density or it's really energy dense and we want to make sure this is low in energy density and this is incredibly tasty. So take two small red onions or one medium onion and just dice it finely. Dice two cloves of garlic. We're going to pop them onto our pan that's really hot and there should be a nice little sizzle. We're going to fry them until they start to brown. Once they start to brown, this is all at a medium heat, uh, until they start to brown, just slowly reduce the heat. Next step, we're going to add in our spices. So we've got quite a lot of spices here. We've got one tablespoon of ground cumin, one tablespoon of ground coriander. Uh, I've got half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of ground chili. Try to use mild if you're kind of like it less spicy. I'm going to use a bit of tamari, and I know this is not traditionally Mexican, but it just allows us to add flavor quickly and really get it in there. I have two tablespoons of tomato puree. So right now everything's dry and beginning to kind of stick to the pan. So I'm gonna add in about 10 tablespoons of water. So approximately about 100, 120 ml of water. Pop that in, just mix it around. It will want to evaporate quickly, but keep mixing around it to develop a light little sauce. So I'm just gonna take that off the heat while I chop our jackfruit and get it all ready. So I have one tin of jackfruit, that's 400 grams net weight. I'm gonna drain, give it a good rinse and take it out. So pour it out in the chopping board and just chop it nice and finely. We don't want it too fine because we do want a bit of texture and a bit of fiber, but we don't want big lumps of it. Okay, once that's nicely chopped and you're happy with it, just pick it up and pop it straight into the pan. Put the pan back on medium heat and we're gonna fry that and really mix it around and try to encase it, coat it with that lovely sauce. If it does seem a little dry to you, just add in a couple tablespoons of water just to get it all mixing together. Let's pour in the sweet potatoes and just gently fold it together. We don't want to break down the sweet potato so it turns to mash. We want to keep that little bit of texture and just a little bit of variety. Fold it all together and just turn it off the heat and boom, we're ready to go. Now just taste and adjust by adding more salt and black pepper to your liking. So our dough has been resting in the fridge and it's gone nice and more solid. We're going to pop that down on a floured work surface and just roll it out. Roll it out nice and thin until it's about half a centimeter deep. We're going to take a bowl which is approximately, how big is that, approximately eight centimeters. Eight centimeters? Anyway, that size. Uh, so take a bowl approximately that size, make sure the edges of it are slightly floured so it won't stick and we're going to just cut out four even size, lovely little circles. Uh, they look great, perfect. Okay, now time to fill them up. So these will take about two and a half heaped tablespoons of filling, pop it on in the centre and just we're going to carefully take one side and just fold it over. Compress around the outside and then we're going to slowly fold it over and kind of like a wave like shape. Alternatively you can just use a fork to compress it all together. We've got one lined baking tray and we've preheated our oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Pop our empanada down and just repeat with the other three empanadas, giving you four lovely empanadas and lots of filling left which you can use for the rest of the meal prep. Uh, final step before we bake them is that we're going to brush them in a little bit of plant-based milk. So we're just using oat milk, use whatever you have and just carefully brush them. We want to brush around the edges, this will just help them golden up more. So we preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius, pop them in and we're going to bake these for about 15 to 20 minutes until they go nice and golden on the outside. Our empanadas are ready, come in and have a look at these. So these are beautiful, just like I remember in Peru. Light, juicy, delicious, crispy, fabulous. Okay, mole time. This is an incredible, iconic Mexican dish that in some parts, like they'll cook it for a week and you can get so many different varieties and excuse me for simplifying it and doing an easy version. However, I wanna pay some homage to this remarkable dish. This is a quick 15 minute version, so disculpame to anyone from Mexico here. First step, take one red onion, medium size one, finely, peel and finely dice it. Turn a pan on high heat. Once it's nice and hot, let's add in our onion and start to fry it. While it's frying, we're gonna take two cloves of garlic, peel them and finely dice them. I've got two red chilies. Again, I'm gonna finely dice them. Remove the seeds if you're like me and you don't like it too hot. Add it into the pan and we're gonna give that a nice stir and cook it until it starts to brown. Next up, I have two tins of beans. I've gone with one tin of kidney beans and one tin of mixed beans. Give them a good mix around just until the, their moisture tends to kind of loosen the onion and garlic and chili mixture. We're gonna add in our spices now straight away. I have one tablespoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground clove, one tablespoon of cacao powder to give it that chocolate note, one teaspoon of veg bouillon and one tablespoon of tomato puree. We have 250 ml of water, just add it in and really try to remove any dried spices that are sticking to the bottom. 
bring this up to the boil and as it's starting to boil just reduce the heat. Time to add in our chopped dates, so that's simply 30 grams of dates which I've removed the pit and I've chopped them nicely finely. These are going to thicken the dish and they're, all going to, they're also going to offset the acidity from the lime and also that spicy chilli note. Turn this off the heat and last and final thing is we're going to taste and adjust the seasoning. Like it's so, for something that has taken 15 minutes, it's got so much deep, aromatic, rich, sweet, acidic notes, like it's very complex and delicious. So excuse me, the scoop I may. Uh, we're going to just add a little bit of salt and a little pinch of black pepper. Uh, so serve your mole with your grain of choice. In this case, I'm going to serve it with some cooked brown basmati rice. Use whatever type of grain you like. I'm going to garnish this to help give it a note of vitality as this just fresh salsa. Okay, that was such fun. I think Comida de Mexico is super riquísimo. Like it's so tasty, it's so vibrant. And here we've done kind of lower fat versions just to help with weight loss. So one of the keys just to recap for anyone who wants to lose weight is to eat lower than the energy density. So let's just say for an average, you eat two kilos of food per day. If you eat say uh, beans, fruit and veg, typically you'll, your calorie intake will be 500 calories per pound, so they'd be lower in calorie versus if you're eating kind of things that are like nuts and seeds, we're talking almost 2,000 calories per pound. And if you're adding oil, typically it's around 4,000 calories per pound. So the more you can consume calories that are below 500 calories per pound or foods that are, the easier it is to stay in shape. So this was so tasty. If anyone wants to learn more about how to stay in shape without having to calorie count, check out our Happy Shade course. We partner with a bariatric GP, so that's a weight loss specializing GP, Dr. Sue Keneally, and dietitian Rosie Martin. I'm gonna finish off this by trying my ep empanadas. Uh, we used to eat loads of these when we were in Peru. I know it's not Mexico, but I always adore these. Here we go, this one's for you. Really crispy Thai food. Mmm, wow. A lot of flavor in there. I love empanadas, they are so tasty. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for getting this far in the video. Please try each of these dishes and let us know. Even the mojitos seem so simple, but they're really, really tasty. And I think they're a wonderful tribute to Mexican food, using simple food, simple ingredients that just taste incredible. Gracias para uh, watching. <laughs> I'm trying to remember my, my Spanish. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for being part of this. Uh, please subscribe and sending lots of love.